Hello guys, here with a new video for the channel, I hope you like it, and if you like it, don't forget to leave your powerful like supreme god level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, get comfortable, let's begin. Broly was raising his power in an incredible way, causing multiple dimensional cracks to be created all over the space. It's amazing how the power of the supreme god, even with the fusion, I'm not sure I could beat it. Broly would have finished raising his power, his hair would have turned silver, Broly had gone into combat form with which he was able to face all the supreme gods except the second and third, since these had a similar power. Who the hell are you? What have you done with the Saiyans I was fighting with? So you didn't notice? Well, I'm the fusion of both Saiyans. I'm Vegito, and this is Vegito Ultra Instinct. Vegito would go Ultra Instinct surprising Broly and Deku who was watching this battle. How is it possible with that two Saiyans from the world outside have so much power? It is a fucking nightmare. I see that with you I have to use a large part of my power. I hope I'm prepared. Broly having gone into combat form he was confident. Meanwhile outside that dimension were all the gods with his rigorous training in universe 11 was the destroyer god Vermouth training together with his angel Margarita. Margarita, we have trained enough for today. I think we can give ourselves a decent rest. Of course not Mr. Vermouth, the existence of the 12 universes is at stake. If we are not powerful enough, we will die. If we don't rest enough, we won't be able to make our ki recover quickly. Margarita would accept that the god of the destroyer Vermouth has her rest. However, she was a bit upset and Vermouth had noticed this attitude that the angel was having. Everything was similar in the 12 universes and this was all because Xenosama's negative power was flowing through the 12 universes affecting the fundamental pillars of each universe. Meanwhile on earth all of those were normal months had passed since what happened. The only one who continued to train hard was Goten who had the hope of being able to return to his father. I need a training partner but I don't know who to tell. At that moment he would feel the key of Trunks who would leave that place at a great speed. At that moment of meeting him they began to talk. Long time no see Trunks, how have you been? Hello Goten, very good and you? A little boring. I want my father to come back from the planet so Beerus so that he could train with me. So that's what these bastards told you? What do you mean Goten? Those cursed locked up my father and Mr. Vegeta in the room of time because they believed they were a threat. No I can't believe it, they wouldn't be able to do this to our parents. It's the truth Goten, you better not train so that when they come out I know they'll be proud of our powers. It seems good to me, so that's why no one wanted to talk about my dad. We'll become very powerful being able to make them proud. Meanwhile on the planet of Beerus he was training since he had to manage to obtain a new transformation which was able to overcome all the gods of destruction and being at 50% of power of Daishenken before he trained. That's right, Daishenken at the end of his training had also achieved abysmal power being on par with the super king of all. Returning to the dimension both warriors began with a great battle. Both were very even and very injured at that moment. A strong rumble was felt through the multiverse. It was nothing more than Vegeta's power. Since Xenosama's essence was merging with it, Broly felt like Vegeta's power instead of decreasing was increasing. What the hell? How can she raise his power like that without an emerging transformation? Is he also a legendary Super Saiyan? Vegito kept screaming, raising his power in a terrifying way, causing disasters all over the place. Daiku was trembling at feeling such a beastly power. Sir, the power of this individual has already surpassed all the gods, being able to eliminate them with a single blow except the three most powerful. Elsewhere the Ice Emperor King 
Bayakua was surprised by the battle that was taking place far away from his universe. That battle is on another planet. I can't believe it. The power of those Saiyans is absurdly incredible. <laughs> so they weren't using all of their power. Meanwhile, with the Supreme God Ryota, he managed to convince each Supreme God to destroy Broly. However, what he was doing was giving his father much more power and being able to master the massacre energy. When Ryota's father absorbed the last Supreme God, a light would make all those multiverses illuminate with a great light. What the hell? Another great power has appeared, but unlike Broly and that Saiyan, he's pure evil. But from one moment to another, all that majestic power had disappeared. Akiyani Helang had disappeared with all his key to be able to master all that bestial power. Akiel and his son would go to different universes to master the new powers. Father, what will our first move be? The first thing we need to find out is how powerful Yamoshi's descendant has become. He's the most powerful god among the 12 supreme gods that existed, but I doubt that his power compares with his. At that moment, they also felt the collisions of their fists. Whose other power is this? Is a new Saiyan that has come to this multiverse. I see. So if we have to train hard to be able to face them. Father and son began to train to increase their powers greatly. Returning to the battle, Broly had already decided to end it. Your power is incredible, but you still lack the power to match for me, the legendary Ultra Super Saiyan God. Broly increased his power much more, where he even had muscles grow even more. However, with his large size, he retained incredible speed, since in a few microseconds, he was able to deliver a strong blow to Vegito that would leave him out of harm's way combat. You're the second most powerful guy I've ever faced. Broly would return to his base state, however, he also received great damage in the battle. After a few days in which Vegito would wake up, they would unfuse, becoming Goku and Vegeta again. So they woke up. So they know. I don't want to kill them. I just want to know how far their power goes. Ah, I understand. <laughs> Sorry for attacking you. Don't worry, they're very powerful. But that fusion is their trick up their sleeve, since the power they generate is incredible. But tell me, what brings you to the world of the Supreme Gods? We were imprisoned by the great Price Daishenken and Xenosama. I see, so those insects are still alive. Ah, uh, Xenosama's good for nothing. Goku began to tell everything that happened to Broly, which he would understand. Now I understand everything. You being of the same race and not having negative energy are welcome to this universe whenever you want. Goku and Vegeta would raise their power by returning to the Room of Time. That's right, from that place, they began to increase their powers in an incredible way, managing to open a dimension towards the Tremor of Kamisama. However, when they left, all they felt is a key absurdly powerful. All the gods, angels, and high priests, and the king of everything managed to perceive such power that would make all the twelve universes shudder. Goten and Trunks, feeling the key of their parents, went quickly to the place of Kamisama. After a few minutes, they would arrive. Goten would run to hug his father, just like Trunks would do to Vegeta. I missed you so much, Dad! Forgive me for not being able to do anything when those bastards betrayed you. A long time without seeing you, Goten. I can feel how you've become very powerful. I'm very proud of you. Hello, Dad. Long time no see. My mom had told me that you were training on the planet of Mr. Beerus. That damn insect will pay me. But Trunks, your power has grown in a surprising way. You filled me with pride that you're my son. At that moment, Beerus the Destroyer God of Universe 7 would appear in front of all of them. So they managed to get out of that place. Apparently they are hard to kill, damn monkeys. I'm surprised how even with the High Priest's seal you were able to get out of said dimension. You really are two warriors of great powers. On this occasion, I'll finish with you two damned. Let's see if you can, damn it. I highly doubt it that moment, Beerus began to increase his power in an incredible way, causing the entire Universe 7 to tremble. However, with Goku felt how Beerus was raising his power in an incredible way, an air wave would send him off planet Earth, since it is said place where they would still see people who had not betrayed him. Here in space, if you can unleash all your power, go ahead. Damn, I hope you don't regret what you're doing. Beerus again began to increase his power in a scary way. 
Beerus would have passed to the new transformation of him with 100% of all his power. Now praise the power of a super god of destruction! Ha ha ha! Damn insect, your power is pathetic! Don't worry, Kakarot, I'll take care of this clown. Vegeta would go off of the Ultra Ego, which he would be able to surprise Beerus and Whis with his power that he gave off. Whis also wanted to pounce on Vegeta, but at that moment, Goku would take him by the arm, giving him a strong blow that he was not able to dodge, throwing thousands of kilometers through that universe. How could he hit me? This can't be true! At that moment, a great battle would begin between the most powerful deities of Universe 7. However, despite the fact that Whis and Beerus had trained, they were no match for the Saiyans, who were only playing with them. Goku, kill them! You have no choice, and when all this is over, you will revive them with the Super Dragon Balls. All their energy is corrupted. Currently, there's nothing that can be done. I understand, Zenshan. I'm sorry, Wissan. It was the best teacher I could have, but now everything ends. Divine Punisher! Goku would lodge a tiny sphere of ki, which would cause Whis to disintegrate, leaving no trace of it. Beerus would be surprised to witness how Son Goku had ended Whis's life without any effort. How could a mortal end the life of a guardian angel? This is amazing. I can't believe it! However, at that moment, a voice would echo from his back. This is also your end, Beerus. If you never intended to kill us, we'll revive you with the Super Dragon Balls. But if your intention was always to kill us, you'll stay in the other world forever. At that moment, the Daishenken would arrive along with 11 remaining gods of destruction, where everyone was surprised to realize that Beerus, the most powerful god of all, had been easily defeated. At that precise moment, the Daishenken began to raise all his power in a way of bestial, since he was going to fight seriously from the beginning. What will happen next? Find out in the next chapter. Well guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, see you in a new video. Until next time.